Hello everyone, I'm Blaster, and welcome to episode number 28 of our Pokemon Moon Emerald Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, things were going, you know, things were going nicely. We were getting, we were getting some encounter, we were having a pretty fun time. And then, toward the end, tragedy struck once again in the Hoenn region. So if you guys missed out on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. I'm sorry, Alolan region. Because, <laughs> you know, we got Alola and Hoenn. Anyways, today we have rebuilt once again with a brand, well, mostly brand new team to take on Victory Road. Hopefully we'll be able to get through all of it today, but I can't make any guarantees. So we got our high force moon for some more Moon Emerald, and of course if you want to show your support, make sure you leave a like, because you know it is greatly appreciated. But let's get a quick team recap because, well, I mean, I don't think it'll be a quick team recap because a lot of things have changed. Starting with one of our new team members, we have Jin... Kirigiri, our level 50 timid nature, a lowland Marowak, holding the quick claw with pretty mediocre stats, I would say. Rock and Flare Blitz, Shadow Punch, Earthquake, and Iron Head. So yeah, this is our new fire type. You guys know I pretty much had to add it because since we did lose Namo in the last episode, spo spoiler alert. I, I, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not sure, how, I'm not sure how to feel about Jin because I love the name. I, lo <laughs> I love the name. I love the mod. I love the name. Well, I do love the name. Um, the typing's pretty solid, and I, I guess if only he had a better nature, like timid, like if he wasn't timid, he would have at least 100 attack, easily. Maybe even 110, I'm not sure. And like, look at this moveset, we got, we got, real, good, we got like, good fire stab, I mean, Flare Blitz is kind of risky, because it does have a decent amount of recoil, but it was either Flare Blitz or Flame Wheel, and I'm sorry, but I'm not going with weak-ass Flame Wheel, especially when I already have another... 60 base power move being Shadow Punch, which is the best Ghost type stab I got. Which, to be fair, like unless they unless they were to implement Shadow Bone in this game, there's not really much much better physical Ghost type stab we could have. And I'm not taking the thing Shadow Ball because there's a fairly significant difference between the attack and special attack. So Shadow Punch it is. I mean Shadow Punch is like Shadow Punch is one of those moves that always lands. So if you know there was or, if there's ever something setting up double teams or minimizes, at least we have Shadow Punch there unless they're a normal type then. Shit. <laughs> so yeah, we have Jin here. Uh, hopefully, he ends up putting work. I mean, we, I mean, freaking bold sand slash putting work. So I'm not gonna, not gonna make any, any judgments just yet. Up next, we have another new team member. We have Tenko Chavashir, our little fifty sassy nature. <laughs> sassy Tenko. Oh boy. Uh, we're rocking. We're holding the focus band because I like, didn't really have much else to give you. But we're rocking Brick Break, Iron Head, Knock Off, and Rock Smash. I am toying with the idea of giving you Earthquake instead of either Iron Head or Knock Off. But the thing is, I, my justification for each of those is we have Iron Head for any fairy types that we are stuck in on or whatever. Or whatever and Knock Off um, for any, like, you know, ghost types or, I mean, if we're ever stuck in against a psychic type. Uh, I do plan, once we're, get, once we're out of Victory Road, I do plan to replace Rock Smash with Bulk Up. So, I mean, I guess I have Rock Smash on honor right now because we're going to need Rock Smash to get through Victory Road. So, yeah. Up next, we have uh, one of our older team members. We have Volrus L50, our gentle nature tight Rantrum, holding the King's Rock now instead of the Black Glasses, because he's actually one of our faster Pokemon now. We actually have a f not the not the fastest team out there. But we're rocking Dragon Claw, Rock Team, Earthling, and Crunch. Literally nothing changed here. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I got everyone up to level 50 because I looked ahead at Victory Road and I, and I deemed that 50 was a good level to go to. Also, I'm not fucking around anymore, okay? This game has taken enough Pokemon from me, okay? I, I'm, 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 I'm done fucking around. So even if we end up getting a little bit over level, which I don't think we will be, so be it. <laughs> Anyways, up next, we have a replacement team member. We have Bully, our level 50 serious natured Galissapod, holding the Shell Bell, rocking Leech Life, Waterfall, Sucker Punch, and Surf. Now I want to talk about why I added Bully in, when we, because you know, we, we already had we already had Trader the Sharpedo, who didn't die. Um, main, I mean, admittedly, the main reason I wanted to add Bully is because Sharpedo. I'm sorry, but Sharpedo was just too frail, and like you know, with how I mean, it did, it did provide some speed, but I want to I want to more so and like you know, looks at that, that's a that's a solid attack. It looks at defense. Look at that defense. <clears throat> so it was solid. Um, we we have uh, I mean, we have, we already had um. Sand Slash is another good physical tank, but now we have a, a second one to fall back on in case, you know, there's a fighting type out there. 
Um, but yeah, also, I just wanted to add Bully because, I, I, I mean, for one thing, I, I wanted to use a close pod. And for another thing, I don't know, like, just, you know, Trader, I, I just didn't really feel too comfortable using Trader, like, in, like, you know, such an important time of the game when, like, you know, it's, too, it's so, so frail and I don't have any way of guaranteeing that it can live a hit. Like, I don't have a Focus Sash. Thus, I have a Focus Band, and, you know, we saw with Fenrir. <laughs> focus Band is not very reliable. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's why I, that's why I add Bully to the team. I know he's significantly slower than Trader, but, you know, I mean, we have, we have the, we have the bulk on our, we have bulk on our team now. We have better bulk on our team now to make up for this kind of lack of speed. Up next, we have the general of the team. We have Gooder, level 50, our bold, natured, Alolan, Sandslash, who actually has lower defense than Bully, hot damn. We're, we're still holding the lax in sense, because we saw with that one, we saw with, uh, Wands Glissopod. That can come in fucking clutch. But we're still rocking the same moveset as always. Iron Head, Stone Egg, Earthquake, and Sword Dance. Still no Ice Head Stab, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to get Heart Scales in this game. Um, I have, I, I, I'll be honest, I have thought about maybe, like, hacking, I, I don't know, hacking some in. I don't know how you guys would feel about that. Like, I, like yeah, I know that's kind of, well, it's literally cheating. But, like... I mean, I could, I mean, I could just, yeah, I could just, like, you know, continue rocking with no ice type moves, but, like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think, if you'd be okay with it, or no. Nah. Anyways, our final team member. You guys know, I, I, I was, it was a bit of a toss-up doing what grass type to use. But in the end, with the help of my good buddy Silverwatch, we decided to use Sour. The low 50, serious natured Sarina, pulling no item for a reason. With pretty good attack, defense, special defense, and decent speed. Rocking Razor Leaf, High Jump Kick, Acrobatics, and Stomp. Now this move set, I'm not sure I'm not really sure how to feel about it, because Razor Leaf is the best physical grass type move we got by level up. Unless I was to again get, use the heart scale and like I don't know I don't know if Trop Kick is in this game. Or if there's some other better grass type move that this thing gets. Uh high jump kick it, it, uh, it got by level up and I thought that was, you know, pretty good stab. Acrobatics, I taught it to, I talked to it via TM, because, again, coverage. And that's also why we're not holding, we're not holding any item. Uh, and then Stomp is just kind of there. I mean, obviously I had to teach Serena Stomp to evolve it, because, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it was changed in this game, but... In the normal game, that's how you, that's how you evolve Steenie, you have to have it have Stomp. And besides Stomp, Stomp's a decent move, I mean, it's base, like, 65 power, and it has a chance to flinch, so if we outspeed something and we have to click Stomp, I mean, we can get some flinches going. Um, but yeah. That is our that is our new that is our um, new and improved team. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, hope you guys like it. It's gonna be the team that hopefully we will have with us for the rest of the game. And oh, Fernando, my buddy Fernando. Oh boy. Okay, I'm get, okay. He's clearly a musician. <laughs> but yeah, I think we are good to slide into Victory Road and make our way through it this time. I'm going to slap on some Afterpels. I bought as many hyper potions as I possibly could. You know, skip right past Wally, and, um, yeah, this first trainer is right here. <laughs> Alright, seemingly live to its name of victory. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got H trainer BLA, who starts off with a level 35 Psyduck? Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, you know, you, you do you, game, you do you. Uh, yeah, we should be able to, sh uh, one-shot one you with a Shadow Punch, because we are 15 levels above you. What's next, a Piplup? Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, we don't really need to go into Sour, because, like, I, I mean, unless it's, like, somehow higher level. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go into Sour, because, you know, grass type stuff. And yeah, you are still level 35. And we missed our first Razor Leaf of the episode. Hell yeah. And he was Scald. Ooh, that animation is kind of... I like it. I like it. I mean, it's a fitting animation, because, you know, it's water and it can burn you. So I like the little touch of flame at the end. Shout out to whoever designed that Scald animation. Anyways, Piplup goes down. Uh, I don't remember when we had a Piplup. Sad days. Glaceon. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a jump up. Uh, Alright, Glaceon. Let's go into Gooder. <clears throat> let's go into Gooder. I could have gone into Tenko, but I want to go into Gooder because Gooder's a safe option. And I want to try to play things a little bit more safe now. <laughs> Since, again, we've lost enough Pokemon. Alright, level 42. That's a little bit more like it. That is a little bit more like it. Alright, go for the Iron Head. You should be able to Oko because we're eight levels above you. And it was a crit. It's a crit. Hell yeah. <laughs> the one time crits are actually um, good. It's when you're getting them and not your opponent. Uh, Goldeen is coming in. All right, Goldeen. Uh, you know, let's send Tenko for this one. You know, let's try to get let's try to get screen time for all of our new team members. So let's send in Tenko, and let's go for I guess I mean I guess we'll go, we'll go for a brick break. 
chop this goldfish right in two pieces. Oh, that's kind of a morbid image. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put a jacket on, because I'm a little bit chilly in my room here. So I'm gonna put on this, uh, this jacket here. Ooh, a Gyarados. Uh, yeah, we don't really have an electric type on the team either. Uh, okay, how do I how am I gonna handle a Gyarados? <laughs> I don't want you to know I'm thinking about this as I'm putting my jacket on. Uh, how am I gonna handle a Gyarados? Hmm. Um, I think Volrus is the answer, because I can go for a Rock Tomb. <clears throat> and yes, I know he might have Ice Fang. But, I mean, depending on his level, we, we should be able to take an Ice Fang. Well, 45, yeah, I think we should definitely be able to take one Ice Fang. Hopefully two. In a, in a perfect world, we'll be able to take two. We outspeed him, go for the Rock Tomb. We're, we are minus one attack from Intimidate, but it's still a 2 a KO. So all you need to do is live one Ice Fang, and we should be good to go. Or I can go for a Rain Dance, that works too. Do you have Swift Swim? Does Gyarados even get Swift Swim? No, no never mind, he doesn't have... <laughs> he was little, I, was, I literally just got intimidated. Why am I thinking about Swift Swim? Even if Gyarados does get it, he doesn't have it. Or this one doesn't have it because he has Intimidate. Stupid. <sighs> Stupid Devin. Alright, down goes the Gyarados. He has one more Pokemon. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a Blastoise. Oh boy, alright. Let's go back into Sour. Let's go back into Sour. Originally I wanted to give Sour the Miracle Seed. Because, obviously, we kind of have a, a little bit lackluster Grass-type stab, but at the same time, Acrobatics kind of also needs to be powered up, so... Oh, he has to go for Iron Defense. What a, what a pain, what a pain, what a pain. Can we get crit? Uh, doesn't Razor Leaf have a high chance to crit? Or am I thinking of another... Or, or, or am I thinking of, like, Leaf Blade or something? I'm pretty sure Razor Leaf has a high chance to crit. I mean, either way, I mean, as long as he doesn't go for any more Iron Defenses, that's, like, a solid 3 at KO. Goes for Skull Bash? Okay, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna boost his defense even more. Fuck, dude. Stop boosting your fucking defense. Good. All right, well, Razor Leaf should do some damage. Ooh, that's a crit. That's a crit. It does have a high crit chance. Hell yeah, Serena. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, now we've got business. So that's, that's it for h tenor BLA. Okay, um, I mean, I'm not gonna, not gonna question that name. Oh, right, we need Flash. Uh, do I want to give Flash to someone... Okay, well, let me see who can learn it. Let me see if I have an expendable t uh, move slot on a, on a team member for now. Because obviously, you know, I can just get, I, if it's a TM move, I can just teach it back later. Hmm. Do I want to? I actually kind of do because Flash could also come in handy in any battles in the Victory Road. Um, I think I think I think if anything, I'll get rid of Acrobatics because I can teach it back to you via TM. So I think I'm gonna do that. I mean, I know I was literally just talking about, like, you know, that's why we don't have any item on you, but, like, I don't know. Uh, but since you don't have Acrobatics anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and give you that Miracle Seed. Um, because, obviously, you know, it'll power up the somewhat lackluster Grass Stab we have. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's also go for Flash, now that we have it. <coughs> oh, Serena using Flash. Oh, that's, um... Ah, uh, that's an image I did not need in my head. Okay, um... <laughs> Oh, we, we need strength too? Fuck! Okay, well, actually, if Serena can learn strength, that could actually work because we can get rid of Stomp and upgrade it. And Serena's the one Pokemon on our team that can't learn it. Alright, well, I guess I'll teach it again. Because, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know who else to teach it to, really. Well, I'll teach it again. I'll get rid of Iron Head, I guess, for now. T again, I'll teach it back later. Because Iron Head is a TM in this game. <coughs> oh, boy. Alright, let's go ahead and use strengths. So many ATMs that I forgot about. <clears throat> that I forgot we needed. I was like, you know, we're good rocking it. We're in here with this rock smash. But I forgot we didn't have uh, strength on the, on the team. <clears throat> Alright, let's go up this way. Let's go for rock smash. Smash these rocks. Oh shit, did I fuck something up? I think I fucked something up. Fuck! Alright, I'm just gonna reset the area. I'm just gonna reset the area, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need to redo this puzzle. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and push that out of the way, push that out of the way. And then, smash that rock. And I think what I need to do is I need to... Yeah, there we go. Smash this rock first. Then push that one down and the other one up. Alright, there we go. Push that one down. And that one up. There we go. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and battle you. To win your way through the Pokemon League, you need the trust of your Pokemon. I mean, hopefully... I, mean, I would hope my Pokemon trust me. I mean, I know they're mostly new members, but I would hope they trust me. As their Pokemon trainer... Pokemon trainer Paul. Wait. Is this supposed to be like that, uh, that, 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 that Paul guy in the anime? In the Gen 4 anime? Is that what this is gonna be? Is, is there gonna be like a bunch of like, 
tra like throwback trainers. So that'll be actually pretty dope if that's the case. Those are discharge. We should be able to take that because Electrifier is a physical attacker, not a special one. That did a lot though. He has speed boost. Okay. All right. Okay. He goes for a full restore. That's fine. Just smack him with another earthquake. Just smack him up with another earthquake. <clears throat> and then we should be good to just kill him with a shadow punch or whatever. Unless we can get like an, I don't know, max roll or a crit maybe? Nope, no crit. No crit for me. All right, he's probably gonna go speed me now, but hopefully, oh shit. Okay, well I clicked the wrong move, but he's switching out. Into a frost last. I got played. <laughs> I got played. Uh, does frost have levitate in this game? Because otherwise, why would you switch into the, okay. I kind of want to switch out because that's a ghost type and you probably outspeed me. Some Jin is the slowest member of our team, I'm pretty sure. So... I can't go into Volaris because... Okay, I'm going to go into Gooder. I'm going into Gooder because um, Volaris is a dragon type and you're a nice type. So yeah, I'm going to go into Gooder. Going into Gooder, he's going to confuse us. Okay, that's uh, that's not very fun. That's not a very fun time for us. But Gooder's well trained. He should be able to handle this. Easy peasy. Goes for Shadow Ball. Uh, is that gonna do a lot? No, 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 that, did, that didn't do much. Alright, come on, Gooder. Come on, Gooder. You're better than... Gooder? Gooder. Gooder. Come on, Gooder. Come on, you're better than this, Gooder. You are better than this. You are better than this, Gooder. You're better than this. There you go, you're better than this. Ironhead, get out of here, Frostlass. This, this has to Oko. And if it doesn't, then I blame our bold nature. Oh, it's a crit, never mind. <laughs> It was a crit. Never freaking mind. All right. All right. What's next? Torterra. Oh, this is where our uh, ice type style would come in handy. Okay. Um. Let's go into bully. Let's go into bully. <clears throat> let's go into bully and smack him with a nice leech life. Smack him with a big old leech life. All right. Torterra level forty five. Go for the leech life. Bam. Uh. Torterra is pretty bulky, so I'm not sure if this will Oko. But it'll at least be... Ooh, oh, so close. So close. All right, he goes for Krunk. That's fine, because it's not stabbed. So we should be able to eat that out, no problem. With our, with our fucking 150 defense. And we have Sucker Punch, which doesn't matter if you go for a, an attack or not in this game, because Sucker Punch works either way. <clears throat> and we're going to get some Shell Bell HP back, which is nice. Which is nice. I just realized we have we have a, a Glyspot on our team, which is the Pokemon that killed Speaks, who was previously holding the Shell Bell. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, anyways, Electivire's coming back in. So let's go into Volrus this time, because Volrus also has Earthquake. Volrus also has Earthquake. So we can go ahead and smack this thing up real quick. Real quick like, real quick like. Let's go for a nice EQ. He goes for Discard, he outspeeds us. That's fine, because Discard is resisted. It's resisted, that does absolutely no damage. But we do get paralyzed, okay, we do get paralyzed. We get fully paralyzed. All right, Volrus. I see how it is, my guy. I right, go for the Earthquake again. You just keep going for Discard, okay? I'm gonna assume these guys just have their level up moves then, because I would, I, because I, yeah, I'm pretty sure Electivire would have something more than Discard to hit me with. All right, so Electivire goes down. What's coming in next? What's coming in next? What's coming in next? Agron. Okay. Okay, Agron. Well, we have Tenko right here to deal with this Agron, so that's cool. So that is cool, cool, cool. All right, all right, Agron, go for the Brick Break. Which I mean, Agron has very high defense, but at the same time, it's quite effective. We're five levels above. Get out of here, Agron. Fucking fake ass Diesel. All right, what's next? Mag Mortar. Um, okay. All right, Mag Mortar. Let's go. To, let's go back into Bully. Let's go back into Bully. Uh, who should be able to take a hit if you outspeed us. Look, I'm not sure if you will, but either way, we're gonna go and smack you with a nice old waterfall. He, he does outspeed us, and he goes for Confuse Ray. Can you stop confusing me, dog? I would greatly appreciate it. Your, your, your support would be greatly appreciated, dog. All right, come on, bully. Come on, bully. Prove yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you lose us on one HP, we have Sucker Punch. So we can kill you either way. But it Okos, so I don't need to Sucker Punch. Then goes my Mortar, and I'm pretty sure that was his last Mon, which is lit, which is litty lit lit lit. But we're also going through here at a not, oh, never mind, there's one more on, he has a Drapion. Uh, okay, okay, Drapion, um, hmm. 
I'm gonna evolve, and I'm gonna heal up. I think. Actually, no, I don't. I don't think I need to heal up. I can just go for an earthquake, and hope we don't get. Hope, hopefully, we don't get paralyzed. Hopefully, we don't get paralyzed. Okay, this is his last moment. But I was just gonna say, um, we're not really. I mean, we're kind of. I mean, I don't know. We're kind of going through this a bit slowly because, like, you know, we're only in two, we're only two battles deep, and we're already like almost 20 minutes. We're, well, we're at 20 minutes. So I don't know if we're gonna have a super long episode today, or if we're gonna have like a two-parter for Victory Road. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Night slash. Uh, oh, he's plus one. Uh. Okay, never mind. I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was scared there for a second. I was like, wait, shit, he's plus one. No. But no, that did nothing. Loris is a bulky boy, and he's like, look, look, look at that experience. Look at that experience. Look at that fucking experience. I want to see how close that is. I want to see how close that is. 34, okay, not as close as I thought. But we do need to heal because um, half our team did get uh, a little bit beat up there. Oh, yeah, and also I sold all of our Pokeballs except for the Master Ball because... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get uh, many more encounters in this game. So... Um, yeah. I mean, I'll, I mean, if I ever, if I somehow need to get encounters, then I can do that. But <laughs> I don't know if I will. Uh, Alright, Paralyze, heal up Volrus. And we should be good to continue on our merry way. Uh, okay, never mind. We came from that way, so I need to go down this way. Go down this way. Also, I realize that trainer was a female, but but uh, her name was Paul. I mean, you know, 2017, we don't judge. I mean, 2018, we don't judge. And uh, I'm used to saying 2017 with that line. Okay, don't don't uh, don't don't judge me. It's 2018, we don't judge. All right, Ultra Ball. All right, that's um money. Or, you know, if I ever need to, you know, do something else with that. Like, use it to hack any encounters that I may have missed that we can get at some point, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we don't we wouldn't really need to get encounters as long as our team stays in one piece in this episode. Knock on wood. Or in Victory Road as a whole. Alright, uh, I might speed up some people. Um, I mean, I know they're gonna have... Okay, that's h Trainer Shitosa. But that's red. Who has a Crocorock? Okay. Uh, I need to switch out into Bully, I guess. Let's go into Bully. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for Dig, that's fine. Let's go for a Waterfall. He does have Speed Us, which is good, so we can go for the Waterfall. Oko the Crocorock. Alright, what's next? What is next? A Sceptile? Uh, okay, that should be fine. We should be able to get good, good stay and just go for a Leech Life. He has Aerial Ace, that does nothing, because it's not Stab. And we have Defense up the ass. Alright, Heracross is coming in. Well, Heracross can... Oh. I don't really have much for Heracross. Okay, let me go into Jin. I'm going to Jin, and we can go for a Flare Blitz, I guess. He has Rock Slide! Uh-oh. Uh, Flare Blitz recoil is going to be close. Uh... It Oko's that's... Uh... Okay, we left. <sighs> okay. I did not think he was going to have a Rock Slide. Charizard is coming in, okay. Well, we have Volrus here. We have Volrus here, I'm gonna continue speeding up. We have Volrus here, let's go for Rock Tomb. His Dragon Claw, okay, that's not, that's not stab, okay. All right, go for the Rock Tomb, quad effective, get up out. All right, 2014 experience, what's next? Infernape, okay, let's go into Bully. Let's go into Bully. Hopefully he, does, he doesn't really have much to fuck up Bully, let's go for Waterfall, he has Flamethrower, can we take that? Okay, we can take that, no problem. Bully is a bulky boy. Alright, we get some Shell Bell Recovery back as well. Level 51, nice. Greninja X? Hold on a second, is that what I think it is? It is, it's Ash Greninja! Oh my god, that's actually kinda cool. Oh, uh, double team, are you kidding me? Come on, come on Tenko, come on Tenko. Practice fucking Aikido, you got this. No, 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 you don't got this. We don't got this. Update, we don't got this. Alright, Ice Beam, that's not stab. So we should be able to take that. Are you kidding me? We get frozen. We get frozen. Of course we get frozen. 10% chance. And of course we get frozen. Well, while I'm here, I might as well move up uh, full heals. Uh, uh, up to near the top. There we go. Let's go use a full heal. On Tenko, cure the freeze. Goes for another double team. <sighs> I need to speed up. <sighs> Come on, Tenko. Plus three double team. Come on, Tenko. Are you? Mm -hmm. Stop spamming double team. And Tenko, get your shit together. Come on now. 
There we go. The green cat is a degenerate male. You got this. All these, all these obscure references no one's gonna get unless you've seen Danganronpa. That's, that's, that's okay. Also, if you're really red, you're not supposed to say anything. Come on, that's how, that's how red, that's how red operates. Are you gonna disobey the laws of red? Are you gonna do that? Oh yeah, I need to heal again. This. <laughs> uh, I think everyone else is okay for now. I think. I hope. And it's gonna go for surf. Now we're at 25 minutes. Uh, okay, all right. Let's go. Let's go at the waterfall. Let's go up the waterfall. And let's go ahead and I'm probably not gonna battle everyone here. Like that guy, I'm probably gonna skip because I w I do want to save some uh, trainers for grinding because I don't want to sit here and just grind against wild Pokemon for the entire time. I mean, I don't know if there's like too much more grinding health to do um, for the league, but you know, you know. Anyways, uh, I want to go ahead and speed up this battle as well. It's turning a lot. Oh, it's this guy. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna feel comfortable going for a flare but I'm gonna shadow punch. Goes for psychic. That did a lot and special defense fell. Okay, so I'm gonna need to switch out. Uh, no, I said switch out into. Uh, we don't really have much to switch out into. All right, let's go into Gooder. Let's go into Gooder. He switched into two cannon. Okay, let's go for a stone edge. Should be able to Oko, not quite Oko, never mind, disable, that's fine, because I can go for an Iron Head and kill you, or he can go for a Floor Sword, that works too. Alright, go for the Iron Head. Alright, to a KO. He switches again into Metagross, wow, he's switching left and right. Alright, well that's fine, because I can go for an Earthquake and kill the Metagross. Yeet. Yaw, yeet. Bisharp, okay. Well, we have, we, have a, we have a Tenko for Bisharp, so that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, look at that Sprite, though. Alright, Quarterfake of Brick Break, get out of my face, Bisharp. Alright, what's next? Charizard X? Oh boy! Um, okay. Let's go into Bully. Let's try going into Bully. Uh, okay, a little. Okay, let's go for Waterfall. Aerial Ace! Okay, that does nothing. Alright, go for the Waterfall. Alright, 2 a KO. Alright, we can do this. Aerial Ace again, we can take that. No problemos. Down goes Mega Charizard X. Hell yeah, boy. Alright, what's next? Tyrantrum? Oh, we have a Tyrantrum. Um, alright, let's go back into Tenko. We haven't really had much of Sour in this episode. But at the same time, I'm just using, you know, I'm just using who would be best for each situation. i go for the Brick Break. Oko Tyrantrum. O51 on Tenko. Alright, Weavile. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stay in. I'm going to stay in, but I'm going to heal. I'm gonna heal up Tenko in case this Weavile has any craziness. He has Snatch. Okay, that's fine. Screech, that's also fine, because I can just kill you with a Brick Break. And last but not least, you should have the two cannon again. Yep, okay. Let's go into the gooder. Let's go into gooder. And let's go for a nice iron head and kill the two cannon. Never mind, he lived on one HP, but he flinched. Hell yeah, that's that's my that's my girl gooder. That's my girl, and we beat a lawn. And sorry if you don't like speed up, but like, I mean I'm kind of I'm trying to get through in one episode. I'm trying to get through in one episode. <coughs> uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and move on down here. Oh, it's uh oh, it's a double battle. That could be that could be not good. Uh, Alright, these two. We got Mimikyu and Lunatone. Okay. Uh, I may need to get Jin out of here. I guess to be safe. Let's go into Gooder. Actually, let's go into Sour. And... Uh, can, I, can I safely stay in with Tenko? I think so. I'm gonna go for an Iron Head on the... Lunatone. Okay, Shadow Claw. That's fine. Iron Head on the Lunatone. Alright, Oko's. Hell yeah. Alright, what's going, what's going in next? Solar Rock, that's fine. Go for the Razor Leaf, which hit both of them. And then Iron Head, let's focus down the Solar Rock. Let's focus down the Solar Rock. Alright, Charm. Oh, come on, Mimikyu. <sighs> Sigh. Alright. Well, at least now we've gotten that side down, so we can just go for Razor Leaf on the Mimikyu. Oko. And then whatever comes in next is catching an Iron Head. Eradicate, Alolan Eradicate. Okay, that works. Critical Hit! Hell yeah, Tenko! Hell yeah! Now we've got business. Uh, what's down here? Oh yeah, I think there's something over this, over yonder. Alright, move this boulder out of the way. Smash this rock button down below for us. Uh, never mind, there's not something here. Well, there's something here. Oh, did we? Oh shit, we did it. I think there's just one more trainer, and I will slow him down. Because this is the last trainer. The last trainer of Victory Road, I'm pretty sure. Dragon Tamer as a Milson. As a Milson. As a, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see a guard for it, it's just, oh no. Alright, uh, oh yes, Shadow Ball. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Not another poke, not another one, not another one! It was a critical hit! Okay. Alright, go for the Shadow Punch. 
Okay, uh, I don't kill though. Okay, uh, I mean, I, I could heal because that was a crit. So hopefully if he doesn't get a crit, we should be able to live it with a decent amount of XP. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh, he's gonna heal as well, okay. I forgot that trainers I forgot that trainers in here actually do heal themselves. Alright, well that's cool, I guess. Go for a Shadow Punch again. We have speed this time? Oh, the Quick Claw, right. <laughs> forgot we had the Quick Claw. Uh, okay, Shadow Ball again. Uh, hopefully this does less than half. It does not do less than half. That is a problem. That is a big old problem. Alright, let's go into Bully. Because Bully should be able to take a Shadow, shadow Ball, and then we can just go for Sucker Punch and kill this thing easy peasy. Alright, Shadow Ball. Should be able to eat that no problem, because it's not Stab. And we're, like, fucking eight levels above you. Alright, Special Defense fell. That's fine. That is fine, because we can go for a Sucker Punch and kill this thing. Easy peasy. Down goes the Gardevoir. Alright, we're not losing another Pokemon to Gardevoir today. <laughs> not today, my dudes. Alright, what's coming in next? What is coming in next? Lycanroc 2... Question mark? Question mark. It's gonna sour, because either way, it's gonna be a rock type. Um. Oh, it's oh, it's a midnight one. Okay, like in rock two. Stone X, he misses. Okay, thank thank you, because that would uh, could have done a lot. All right, miracles he boosted razor leaf. How much are we doing? How much are we doing? Nice amount of damage. Nice amount of damage. Go for one more. He withdrew into. Oh no, that's terrifying. Feramosa is very frail, but also very fast. And it's a bug type. And it's a fighting type. So I think I'm gonna go into... Either Tenko or Bully, I think. I'm gonna go into Bully. I'm gonna go into Bully. Cause hopefully this thing should be, I uh, shouldn't be able to do too much to us. Goes for a lot, oh, lungs in this game, uh, okay. That did a lot, and a lower heart attack. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Uh, what are you gonna go for this time? Are you gonna go for another lunge? He has bounce. What am I supposed to do? He has bounce. I mean, okay, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make some plays. I'm going to Volorus. I know this, I know this is a bit, I know this is risky because it is a fighting type. But what my, my, my plan is, go into Volorus, eat him a bounce, not get paralyzed, and then go into, let's go into Tenko this time. Let's go into Tenko. Actually, Bully would have been smarter because Bully has higher defense anyways. Jump kick. Uh... Okay, never mind, I'm going back into Bully. I'm going back into Bully. Bully is the only Pokemon that can handle this. Oh my god. He's going for a bounce again. I need to be able to take a bounce, like there's nothing else I can do. I have to just be able to take a bounce. I can't, I can't, I can't just keep flicking around like this. Okay, we can take a bounce. We can take a bounce. And Feramos is frail as heck. So Waterfall should kill. Yes. Thank you, Bully. All right. That <laughs> Lugia's cry. All right. So Feramosa goes down. He has a fucking Feramosa, dude. What the fuck? Kind of scares me. What else, what else people are going to have in here? All right. Lycanroc 2 is coming back in. Lycanroc 2 is coming back in. Let's go back into Sour. Let's go back into Sour. Let's go back into Sour. Let's go for a Razor Leaf. Stone actually lands it. Hopefully we can take it. Okay, we can take it. Go for the Razor Leaf. This kills. All right. All right, down goes the Lycanroc 2. <laughs> down goes the Lycanroc 2. All right, what's next? Decidueye. Ugh, rest in peace, man. All right, Decidueye. Um... All right, let's go into Gooder. I think Gooder can handle it. I think Gooder can handle it. Alright, let's go for an Iron Head. Sucker Punch, that's fine. We can eat that, no problem. It's not a stab, and we have decent defense. Alright, go for the Iron Head. Hopefully this is a 2 KO. Hopefully I didn't need a Swords Dance. I didn't need the Swords. Oh, that was a crit, never mind. Alright, let's go for another Iron Head. Sucker Punch again, that's fine. We eat that, no, we eat that, no problem. We eat those. We actually legitimately eat those. I know I've said that a lot before when we've gotten critted, but we actually do eat those. Down goes the CGI. Alright, what do you got next? Uh, okay, hold on a second. I'll be right back. All right, we back. All right, we back. We back. We back. Mimikyu is your last Pokemon. At least, at least I'm pretty sure it's your last Pokemon. Okay. 
Oh no, you have two more Pokemon. Never mind. What? What? That's the second time this episode I've been I've miscounted the number of Pokemon they have left. He has Thunderbolt. Okay, well Mimikyu's special attack is not very good. I know for a fact because I had one. <laughs> yeah, that was a crit and did like 30 points of damage. Alright, go for the Iron Head. This should kill, because it's you know, we're six levels above, and it's I blame our bold nature. I blame our fucking bold nature. Alright, Thunderbolt, we we found out we can live that even if it's a crit. We can eat that up no problems whatsoever. Ye yeah, boy. Ye yeah, boy! Alright, Iron Head kills him, MQ. What's your last Pokemon? What is your last Pokemon? Survey says it's a Pikachu. Okay. Just Pikachu. Alright. Alright. Alright, Pikachu. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, Pikachu. Alright, I don't know why I have a Pikachu of all things, but we're gonna go for an Earthquake. He has Iron Tail! Okay. Luckily, he's not holding a light ball. <laughs> Alright, go for the Earthquake, and this is definitely Okoing. I don't care what anyone says. It's a fucking Pikachu, dog. It's a fucking Pikachu. And that's it for this guy. And that's the last trainer of Victory Road, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure it is. Wait. Yes, I can swerve! Oh, bless. Okay. I was like, wait, I forgot. There's one more double battle. But I'll probably, I'll probably try to handle those off screen. Um, so let's go ahead and slide on. Wait a second. Can I get an encounter here? Can I get an encounter here? Oh, wait, do I have a rappel up? I might have a rappel up. Uh, okay. Let me get on a bike real quick. Let me get on a bike real quick. Mock bike, use. See if I can burn off this max rappel that I might have up. I th yeah, I think I do. So I can burn this max rappel up. Okay, you know what? I'll just go in here and heal. For now. Uh, I mean, we don't really need an encounter because we have this We have this team. This will this will be the team that we'll take into the Elite Four. Alright, take our Pokemon for a few seconds. Bam. Alright, thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Alright, thank you. You know what? I think I can go ahead and end off the episode right here. Because we have done enough in this episode. We've had a fucking 37, almost a 40 minute episode. Going through Victory Road. Alright, well, you know, we made it through in one episode. And more importantly, in one piece. Which is good. So, I'm going to go ahead and say it right here is definitely a good enough spice to go ahead and drop today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and battle any trainers I missed off screen. I know they might have some craziness, and I might have missed out on some good thumbnail stuff or good entertainment value, but... Hey, I need to I need, I need to I need to save some of them for grinding because I'm not gonna spend I'm not gonna spend the whole time battling against wild Pokemon. So yeah, next episode, it's time to finally take on the Elite Four in this game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button down below for us. Yeah, I'll catch you guys next time when we'll take on the Elite Four. Hopefully, all goes well there. <laughs> but until then. I am Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!